Hey, how's it going on, you lovely people at Shut Door or Door Shutter coming back to you with a brand new episode of the Direwolf 21.20 mod pack. And today we are gonna get into kind of messing with some AE2 shenanigans. Uh, and then after that, we're gonna actually get building a sugarcane farm. Uh, just kind of a simple, basic vanilla sugarcane farm. But I need to get this monstrosity figured out here because I need more channels uh, over in that direction. So what I'm gonna do is I have dense cable, but I don't have enough dense cable to kind of get this started here. Uh, what is this? Let's see. So we we need to get some more smart cables. Um, so let's grab a handful of these. I basically need to just get uh, stacks upon stacks of cables here for a second. Okay. I don't know how much Fluix I actually have because we never fully automated that, but I probably need to <laughs> quite soon here. So we'll do that. Uh, maybe this episode. I'm not 100% sure. I really don't want to automate it, but it looks like we might have to. So there's dense covered cable. We can actually grab some dense smart cable here, which will just allow for us to see the channels in use without needing a network tool. So I want to get this controller placed somewhere else. So let's do... Hmm. How do we want to do this? Because I want to basically... let's So let's get rid of this. First things first, let's get rid of this. This will take out our power system for a second. Uh, we can just grab a flux point. Where is my flux points? I just had a flux point. Oh, are you kidding me? Um, we can just come over here. Snag this one. <laughs> that'll work and this will be better power system okay uh we need to get this figured out i could do like the whole pattern flower type of situation i might do that in the future but i'm going to keep it as simple as possible for now um so let's get this out of the way which is just our dragon stuff uh get this out of the way this is just an import bus. What was gray, gray, gray? Is this the wither farm? It might be the wither. So let's get that out of the way. Get this out of the way. Okay, so that's a lot of stuff. Out of the way for a second here. Okay, let's put this stuff away. We'll put the sugar cane in here as well. Temp pad. Uh, we'll throw our sword in there for a second as well. Okay, so let's get wireless access point down for a second. Let's take let's take out the controller. I want to put the controller in the floor. Um, so I have two controllers here. So one, two. So this will give us more space to actually put them down. But I think this needs to be a different shape. So this might not work. Oh, it did. Okay, just not connecting textures. That's fine. So basically, for this cable here, which is the storage bus cable, we want to just take a dense cable and we can then run it off in this direction. Uh, we want to grab a cable anchor so we aren't connecting to that point. Okay, uh, and we'll clean up cables and everything once I have more of them. So that'll work there. And then for the ME drives, uh, we can then just take this and place it. Where do we want to place this stuff? Because I got to be kind of smart about this. So we could just grab some some dense cable there and then just have a branch ME drive all of our items. Okay. And then take this, which is our grids, put them back where we had them. Okay. So kind of shifting it around. This doesn't look pretty. Uh, that's for sure. So could we grab the Fluix point and or flux point not fluix what in the world is that so flux point 
put that over there for right now. And then for this, we should be able to kind of get this to be better off by doing another dense cable here. But we will need to do an anchor point. Or one of these anchors. Yeah, cable anchor. There we go. Uh, to make sure we don't connect the actual dense cable there. All right. So that should be good. And you can see that we're only using five channels on this line. We're using three channels on this line. And then this one under, we are only using one channel, which is the storage bus. So that's kind of where we're going to be going with this, right? So we want to be able to do this kind of stuff. Um, and then we're going to be able to push this over here to where our crafting stuff is going to be. Um, so we've got our 16K storage with two crafting co-processors and then our 64 with the crow processor as well so that'll fix that now we just need to get this reattached which i think we can just kind of keep that the same uh and this won't be a problem okay um hmm we could grab a smart fluix cable real fast Let's see here, where is, let's just look up smart Fluix cable. If we're too concerned, we can just change this out. Actually, we can just change it out here, right? So yeah, that's eight of eight channels. So right now we are full on this line. I'm kind of wondering if everything is actually running. No, so this is missing a channel. So we can't run this off of this. That's good. We need to know that beforehand. So what we could do in this case is just grab a cable anchor, smart dense cable, and then run this up. Right? So this, this upwards run, let's grab that... Uh, smart cable where did i do with that oh it's still right here we'll keep it there then um this will be converting this into a smart cable and placing that there so this is telling us we're currently using six of eight channels on this set of pattern providers right um i want to be able to auto craft um Auto craft with the with these, but the problem is I don't want to use these specifically, so I'm gonna to have to make another set of all these pattern providers. So we probably need to move these pattern providers. That's probably a good option here. Um, hmm. How do we want to go about moving these? Uh, we could just create a room under us, since I don't think this would interfere with anything. And just kind of create a trap door. Uh, so let's do that real quick and we'll be right back. All right, so quickly here, we're going to set up, I guess, a better automation or a pattern auto crafting thing here. Um, I don't know if this still fully functions, but we've got dense cable running down the center here, uh, four cables coming off of that. And we're going to basically just put cable anchors on all four sides here, I do believe. Um, this is, I'll, I'll post a link in the description of where this actually is. Uh, we should probably grab a network tool. Uh, just kind of somebody that has broken this down into images to make it easier. But, um, this is an older Reddit post, so it does mention, uh, the, uh, interfaces rather than the actual, um, pattern providers, because that was the time when pattern providers didn't exist. So we're just going to keep going here and we're going to place anchors just like so. Uh, make sure we don't place them on the front. And then, of course, grab yourself a network tool in case you accidentally place it because you can just shift click the anchors off, which is fantastic. So that is awesome. OK, anyway, let's keep going here. So we're going to do assembler, 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 and assembler, and then assemblers where these cable and anchors are. Okay, so just like that. 
and we're gonna grab some pattern providers i don't fully know how many we really need but we're just gonna do this just because i grabbed a crap ton honestly 64 plus a few extras uh with the pattern providers themselves um so yeah i kind of went overboard but we're gonna keep going here so molecular assemblers here and then the pattern providers are placed where the old molecular assemblers are on the first layer And then the next little bit here is pattern providers here, molecular assembler here. And then on the very top here, we're going to do uh, pattern providers on the molecular assemblers again. Now oh, we need to make sure we don't touch the other anchors or the other cables we have here. So let's grab the anchors. Let's then place that back down here. We just need to be careful, basically, is all we need to do. Um, keep going. And then, of course, we'll place our molecular assemblers before we place all of these. Probably not a bad idea. And one of the things I completely just forgot about is we actually need acceleration cards. Uh, if you want this to be better, we're going to need a crap ton of acceleration cards. Um, reason being, because of course this would speed up the molecular assemblers. So let's actually kind of tear this back down a little bit, uh, and get all of these in there, which we may not have enough because it looks like they've increased how many you can have in here per, um, so let's quickly take off these. Okay. Let me get these all filled and we'll be right back. All right, so that is completed. Uh, and this uses 32 channels. I believe they say that the molecular, or, yeah, the molecular assemblers don't use channels. Um, and we can actually test that by placing this here. So you can see it's online. We've already used 32 channels, which is all of these pattern providers. So if you wanted to, you could come back in here and you could actually throw molecular assemblers all around this to then increase efficiency more. Uh, this is not necessary, uh, but you could do it this way. Um, you will need to make sure you have enough crafting coprocessors and stuff that determine, hey, how many are we sending this crafting recipe to, um, you know, to break it down in a sense, because that's what the crafting coprocessor does, I believe. That's what the guide said. So we're going to keep that in mind. Um, let's see. So we probably need some more of these advanced cards. Uh, how much fluix do I have left? Because I just crafted a whole bunch. Yeah, we just uh, used a lot of it, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, so it's all gone now. <laughs> so let me get the rest of these placed here, because we're just going to kind of just go with this pattern, right? We're going to fill this entire thing with molecular um, assembler pieces, and uh, hopefully this will be kind of like the best. And I may just go like this, um whole thing i don't think we place one here we just kind of need to place them where the pattern providers are so yeah let me get that done and we'll be right back all righty so that is complete uh where is the frame trap door here i think it's right about here so this is all of the things that we need here let's quickly take a nap because it is thundering outside um all of them have acceleration cards all of them are surrounding the pattern providers uh, you can't put one in the center here because, of course, there's no pattern provider there. And you can't add another pattern provider as there is already 32 in total here. So you basically need 32 pattern providers and a ton of molecular assemblers and acceleration cards. I don't know the full amount because I did not count, but I did have to make more molecular assemblers to fill that. So tons and tons of those. But now how do we fill this without need, without having access to all the pattern providers well, we can actually get a, uh, what is this called here? Hold on, let me get rid of this. Also, uh, pressing H turns off and on your magnet, uh, but it also does the time in a bottle time. So we can just press H to get rid of that. I figured that one out. Somebody did comment about the magnet, but then I was like, oh wait, the time in a bottle is also tied to that. So uh, just keep that in mind there. But anyway, so uh, pattern, so we need the crafting, what is this called? Uh, applied. I know there is a grid that allows for us to have access to all of this. Uh, terminal. 
So there is the pattern encoding terminal, crafting terminal, terminal, and pattern access terminal. So let's go for this pattern access terminal here, and uh, we'll throw that here. And this should, yes, this allows for us to see all of our current patterns, including these, uh, which I actually want to get rid of these. Uh, so let's do that real quick. And we'll throw them downstairs uh, using our new method here. So let's go uh, pattern. Let's go molecular assemblers. Can we type in molecular and then just toss these in here? No, we can't. Okay, so we're going to have to do this kind of one at a time unless we can shift click. Okay, no. Um, is that the four key? Okay, so that doesn't work either. So we're just going to have to do this. And I'll be right back. All right, so I did just go downstairs and shift click as many as I could in there. So it's kind of everywhere with the patterns, but that's okay, just so we could speed that up a little bit here. So I'm not too, too concerned. Um, but now we have a ton of these different uh, molecular assemblers, pattern providers, all of that stuff. And one of the recipes I actually want to make is a book recipe, right? Because we want to get that sugarcane stuff going. Um, and I think we should be able to... Let's see, can we not exchange this for leather? That might be a problem. Okay, so we can do rotten leather. So let's let's keep the book pattern like that, but we're going to need to make a leathern pattern. Leathern? Leather pattern. Goodness gracious, apologies. Um, which is this to this, and then we already know how to make the rotten leather. So we need to set up a furnace as a pattern here. So let's grab a pattern provider. And let's get a iron furnace. Sounds like a good option. Um, let's go with, of course, just normal iron furnace here for a second. We'll upgrade this to at least obsidian, maybe netherite tier. I'm not 100% sure. Just so we have a pretty decent furnace that we'll use basically outright for 90% of our stuff. Um, yeah, we can go for netherite. That's perfect. And then I want to grab a speed augment plus a factory augment. Uh, this will basically make it like an energized smelter for mechanism. So we'll look at that here in a second. But we want to grab a pipe from... Or an energy pipe. There we go. Oop, not that. This will allow for us to have power to the factory augment because it cannot use normal fuel. So let's go here and here. And then for all of this, we're going to do top as input. Uh, or actually, we'll do front as input. And then back as output. And then auto. And we should be able to get a um, chest. The reason we're doing chest here is because when it inputs by itself, it is slow as can be. Um, but I mean, actually, we could attempt this. Can we? Can we attempt this? Let's see. Uh, cause I don't even know if this will work, honestly, but we'll, we'll try it. Uh, why are you not receiving power? Oh, it's because we took off the flux point, remember? To put on our AE2 system temporarily, and we just never replaced it. So let's quickly replace that, uh, so that way we actually have power. What did I just do with that flux point? That's oh, right there. Just took a second to show up. All right. And now we probably should set this to actually pull out of the flux point. Might not be a bad option. Uh, and we'll also grab a pipe upgrade to provide power. Fantastic. Okay. So with that, we should... We, we can attempt this. So if we get a pattern for... I mean, I guess, yeah, this pattern will work. The leather pattern. And we go for leather. And we want to craft 100. Okay, and we can split that. So yeah, this needs to be put in a chest. Because it is not fast enough. So let's do chest. Let's do pattern provider. Let's do that. 
since there's no way we can actually increase the stacks, right? That's another problem with these, I guess. But oh well. So pipes. Uh, we will grab item pipe. Elongated diamond sword of partying. See, I would love to take that actual loot pinata, but I don't need the sword. Because we can't just take the the affection the uh, the effects to it, um, sadly. So let's do that. Let's do this. Let's grab a pipe upgrade here, and then we need to grab another pipe upgrade on the back here. So that way we can just speedily pull everything out. Okay. So there's that. That is fantastic. And that'll work, right? So that's one piece to this puzzle, is getting the leather auto-crafted. Um, now that we have that, and I also set up a zombie spawner, uh, by the way, so we don't run out of rotten flesh for this. That's this very last one here. It's been on for a little while. Uh, actually, this is probably causing some issues. Uh, not yet, actually. But now that I mention it, it's probably going to start causing issues. Oh, it's because the Wither Skeleton Skulls are full. Hold on. <laughs> Let me figure that one out real quick. I don't pay attention to this stuff enough sometimes. So at functional, uh, there's a void upgrade. Uh, we have 131 Wither Skeleton Skulls, so let's just void the rest of them. Yeah, that's probably why my world started lagging a little bit. <laughs> uh, that's okay. Anyway, let's get... Let's go shut the zombie spawner off for now. Um, it's also not chunk loaded. That's another thing. I forgot to do this. So I've got these uh, single chunk loaders from the chunk loaders mod. Uh, this is one mod that I did add uh, as I said I was going to. And I'm actually going to replace the FTB chunks with these. So we're going to get rid of all of the chunk claim. And just, or not the chunk load is what we got rid of, not the chunk claim. Um, and these should be single chunk loaders, so every chunk they're in should be loaded now, which is fantastic. Um, I'm hoping these work properly and everything, but for right now it's you know, waiting to be seen. Um, but yeah, we'll have to clear this out, which is something we're working on right now, actually. That's one of the things we're progressing towards, is getting all of that sorted. Um, oh man, that is a lot of backlog. Uh, let's turn this off for now then. Let that catch up. Okay. Uh, good thing we caught that real quick though. But anyway, let's get back to what we were doing. So books. We want to be able to craft sugar or get sugar cane, right? Um, sugar cane's not hard to farm. Uh, but we're going to do a vanilla-esque one. So we're actually going to get uh, observers. I'm not really worried about the cost of this, by the way, because I... Whatever. Um, but we're going to go really, really vanilla with this, I think. So, uh, hoppers, let's see if we can get a more, get a couple more hoppers here. The only thing we're not going to go, uh, too vanilla with is really just the, uh, way we transport the items from the sugarcane farm to our actual system. Um, we're probably going to do some shenanigans with that, but for right now, let's get this stuff out of here. Oh, we probably want those single chunk loaders. Uh, but then also, of course, we know our sugar cane. Uh, and yes, we are using mud blocks, observers, hoppers, sugar cane, redstone, and pistons. That's the other thing we're going to need. Let's grab a couple stacks of that and then piston. We don't really need too many pistons. I think we're only going to do about 16 of these sugar cane pieces. So let's go over here. Uh, this should be a perfect area. So let's get this going here. So let's grab a uh, shovel. Do I have a better shovel? I thought I did in here. No, okay. Uh, let's actually pull this into a different area because that is right in the way. I don't really want to break that, so let's just pull it forward a little bit. Okay. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. F3G this. 
seven, eight, nine, ten. We can do, we can stack this, by the way, so we'll probably do that. Um, and then we're going to be needing water buckets here in a second. So let's get, we'll just do a line of hoppers, I think. So this right here is where the hoppers are going to go. So we're going to say into this block. And then if we were to stack this, we'd probably want to put, um, you know what, let's not even stack it. Let's just try and make this max chunk width for right now. Because we could do item collectors if we want to on the top. We don't need to make this like too complicated. Okay, so then we'll funnel this all into a chest at the very end. That'll work with me, okay? So then what we're going to do is take all our mud blocks, and since these, I think, are technically... Can't these be picked up from the bottom? Let's turn off my magnet. Yes, okay, so that's that's what we're going to bank on, is the fact that these can actually be um, dropped onto and items still be picked up. So let's drop all our mud blocks. Okay, and then let's grab a quick sink. And then buckets. I don't have any buckets on me. So we're going to just do buckets. And then just water. Uh, of course we can kind of infinite water source this and just do this I guess. Okay. And then uh, we need... What kind of blocks do we want to build with? Let's just do some tough. Why not? Okay, and we're going to place a row of blocks here, because this is where our uh, pistons are going to sit, is on this block here. And then pistons. And then a row of blocks here. And then on top of the pistons, we're going to do an observer. And since we have apotheosis in here, we could make this like a higher observer, but I'm not really too concerned with it right now. Uh, let's go into this position so we can actually place these better. Okay, and then redstone. And I think to uh, if we wanted to make this better and like guarantee that these are single shot, I mean, we could just kind of mod this a little bit here um, and do some redstone conduit. I'm kind of wondering if that might work. We'll test it with this end piece here. So let's get rid of the extract there. Extract, insert, and see if this one will work. So if we were to, for example, put sugarcane down. So if we were to put it down here. Okay, so the redstone conduit will not work that way. It does not work friendly with observers, which is kind of intriguing to know that the redstone conduit still doesn't work that well. All right, so it has its limitations, and that's fine. So now, perfect. And so we'll place all of this down. And then, of course, magnet off. If we place this, and then we do need to put some blocks in front, which I saw coming. So we need to basically put glass... in front of all this. And uh, let's throw glass to the side here as well. Even if it's out of chunk. We'll, ch we'll chunk load these anyway with some normal chunk loaders here in a second. And remove FTB chunks. I'm going to rely on FTB chunks a little bit in this uh, kind of going in the future. Because FTB chunks is great and all, but it does actually make management just a little bit awful. So, okay, pick up my sink. So that is an automated sugarcane farm. Um, do we have any growth crystals or anything like that? Um...
We do have sprinklers. I don't know if they affect um, sugarcane, though. That'd be my only res reserve on that. Hmm. And, of course, we could just do something silly like this. And see if that grows. But it doesn't look like it actually is affected too much by that. Okay. Um, and was it this end where we have the hopper? Yes, it is. Okay, so chest. Uh, we want to grab an ender chest. Which is this. And toss it in there. Okay. So now we should be golden. To kind of just set this and forget it. Which is uh, fantastic. And we'll just put some dirt on top of this. We can still open that ender chest from here. Okay. So that is that. And this is actually a very basic vanilla design. Um, of course, besides the ender chest, you could do this in a normal vanilla world and it would work perfectly. Um, and we probably could set a couple behind this in all honesty, but I'm not really too worried about it. We did all 16. And so the only thing I can think of now is chunk loader. Uh, chunk loader and chunk loader and we should be golden all right so let's get rid of our chunk claim or not chunk claim chunk load here real quick uh, we did not chunk claim this or chunk load this one so f3g which is at the end of this okay and so now we can get rid of that Perfect. So that should be all loaded and everything, and we should slowly get sugarcane. Um, once this hopefully gets going, we'll have a decent chunk of it. But, I mean, if we need to, we can definitely invest in sprinklers. I may just throw um, sprinklers down and then probably replace the hopper. You know what? Let's do it. Let's just throw some sprinklers down here. Um, let's see. How many can we grab? I would assume quite a bit of these. Uh, we need some more slabs of some sort. So oak slab. Okay. And then let's get rid of some of this other stuff real fast. There we go. And then more wooden hoppers. More fluid hoppers. We only really need about 16 of these, right? Um, and then sprinkler. Uh, terra glass, which requires lime stained glass, which is this. Terra glass. Sprinklers. There we go. And let's just, let's, let's modify this. Right now, let's just do it. So we're going to take out this front row of glass. Which my magnet is on. Throw a whole bunch of sprinklers down. And I don't know. If, did we try to do pipes for this? So fluid pipes. So we can put the sink. And we'll change this ender chest position here as well. So we'll put the sink down here. Uh, down one more. So can this interact? Okay, so that can. So basically now what we need to do is get a uh, dug trench. Ooh, I did not mean to do that. Oh, well. Along here to place all of our fluid pipes. And then once we get these all down, the sprinkler should start working and hopefully making this faster. But there's also a chance that they don't, but we're willing to take it at this point. Okay, and then we'll just grab a simple pipe upgrade, probably the golden tier, which is the improved. Okay, and then we'll grab sugarcane to place back down here. And we don't have snad. That's another thing. 
I feel like that's missing. But we definitely don't have it in this pack. So we're just going to go with what we've got. So let's take out all these hoppers real fast. And we'll do some just item collectors or something. Um, to make it just simpler. Alright, so we just changed that to two item collectors. Took off the sprinklers because they were not working. So I think sprinklers only work with crop growth, which is okay. You know, you can't apply bone meal to sugar cane. So this is done. Um... I think we'll probably overkill this um, in a little while. I think I'm going to snag a uh, snad mod from the Curse Forge. I believe there's one updated here. Um, yes, there is one for 1.20.2. So from this episode to the next, we'll have snad. Uh, if you don't know what snad is, basically it's sand uh, doubled, and that makes it actually faster. Um... I also was uh, looking at some other things, and there was a video talking about how um, uh, sugarcane grows faster in the desert, which I don't know if that's true. I've never heard that in all my years of playing Minecraft. I've never heard that before. So I don't know if that's true. That may be misinformation. Um, I mean, I don't think I've ever seen that on the wiki either. But they also said it grows two times faster in the swamps. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe we'll look into it. Um, cause if it does, that'd be fantastic. But I think for right now, um, just to kind of give us a little bit more boost, we'll quickly just get some sugarcane ourselves, uh, from Apotheosis is fantastic. Um, you know, sugarcane growth here. I actually have one way over there as well. You can see in the distance, uh, it's like a city skyline over there. Look at that thing. Uh, but yeah, so... We can definitely improve upon this, I think, if we get snad, um, just to make it faster. Throw it in the desert, see if it does six times faster, who knows. But, uh, yeah, for now, we're gonna wrap this one up here. This has been a fun episode, I'm not gonna lie. This has been enjoyable. We got, uh, the AE2 auto-crafting basically kind of done, um, for a little while until we fill it, which might happen. And then we just build another one. Another 32, uh, dense cable, 32 channels. Fill that one up and we'd be fantastic. But yes, thank you guys. Stay awesome. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.